Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Um, once again, let me do all the things, and then we'll get right to it. How is everybody doing? Hmm. I thought my crush texted me, but this is much better. <laughs> it's an interesting sentence. Bonky McNoggins coming in with the ten dollars. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, let me set everything up. There you go. Now I can see you guys. Bonky already. Yeah. You came in really early today, by the way. A uh, stream's only started for two minutes. Or or a minute and a, and a few seconds before you came in. Damn. What webcam do you use? Oh, uh, thank you. Uh... I, I, I actually don't know. I, I use the one that comes with the computer. I just look this good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, today what we're gonna do is I'm hopefully going to render this, uh, because I want to. So that's what we're gonna do. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good today. You know, things are things are going good. Uh, I'm guessing that this is an acceleration mage. Do different mages undergo metamorphosis at different rates? Uh, I wouldn't really say at dis different rates. Uh, I'd just say in different ways. They, they have different um, effects that they get. But I wouldn't say there's a type of magic that goes through them faster. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, uh, my girlfriend says hi. Okay, uh, cause simply acceleration mission doesn't seem to tax, uh, body as much as, uh, fire magic, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, hold on. Uh, do acceleration mages experience changes during metamorphosis? Does this dude look normal? If you're telling me this dude looks normal, then I guess no. But yeah, this guy's an acceleration mage, and he does not look normal. So yes, they do go through changes. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess it's not that, like, fire mages have the changes affect them faster, it's just that they're worse changes. Which I guess you can say they're faster then, but I, I don't feel like saying they're faster is right. 
because it's you, you're not getting them faster. It's just worst effects. You know? It's like getting burnt alive in 10 minutes or getting longer in 10 minutes, you know? Like this guy just gets a longer arm and the other guy burns alive. It's worse, but it's happening at the same uh, speed. Okay, there you go, there you go. Now I got everything set up. Hey, what software do you use? Uh, Krita. I use Krita. But yeah, let's let's get right into drawing, I guess. Um, first of all, I need to change the color of that gun. So it's black like the rest of the lines. There you go. Uh, red is alpha. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm actually going to look for some images to take inspiration from when it comes to color. Uh, obviously going to pull up the good old Zdzlobachinsky drawings, um, but maybe find some, and, and dark wood as well. Um, do bodies change severity depend on the magic? Did I... Uh, thank you for the two euros, Micatron. Micatron, welcome back. Um, I again, I I don't know if I should say faster or worse. Um, they're different. They're different. Whose drawings? Uh, Zdzilabczynski's. Hold on, I'm gonna pull him up right now. He's one of my favorite artists. Um. I, I definitely want to try and capture the, the mood and tone that he gets through his drawings. That's why I use them as reference often. Though I've never truly been able to, you know, actually capture the how good they are. See? It's fucking amazing. God damn. You can see where I can get the... Uh, you can see where I got the uh, colored skies from in, like, the war imagery. Because he loves to... Or, or, like, all his images seem to have this sort of, like orangey yellowish sky uh, which I really like yeah I don't know what happened with the colors on on that reference actually let me get a better one that one's just weirdly wrong there you go it's more like it The spooky artist. Yes, the spooky artist. Uh, do you think that once the Monster Garden eventually is uh, uh, cultivated into one massive piece of world building, other people would be able to create their own sort of spin-off ideas to add, if you know what I mean? I mean, holy shit, that's a first abbreviation I can actually... Yeah, you know what I... I, I, I didn't even think about it. I just abbreviated that in my head. Normally that doesn't happen with abbreviations. I fuck them up normally or don't, don't recognize them. Um... I mean, nothing's stopping you from doing that now if you want to, you know? Uh, you don't have to have things be official uh, to, to, to play around with them, you know? If you want to, like, for example, some people ask, like, hey, can I use my, your, your setting in my D&D world? I'll, like, add things to it and stuff like that. And I'm like, go ahead. I mean, it's your D&D campaign. You can play around with my ideas and, like, construe them or add things as you like to, like, use for your own D&D uh, &D stuff or whatever. Uh, like, you can add stuff to it. I'm, I'm not forbidding you from adding stuff to it. Um, it's just that, you know, it's not canon, but that doesn't matter if you're using it for, for your own fun. 
was it doesn't matter. Monster Garden is becoming more fluent in English. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, would you be chill if somebody turned Monster Garden into a TTRPG? Uh, that, not so much. I'd, I'd not like that, if that makes sense. A lot of people, a lot of people have contacted me to be like, hey, you want to make this into a TTRPG? And I'm like, not now. <laughs> I, I definitely something I would want to keep for a little later, perhaps. Uh, and if it were to happen, I'd very much prefer to be in control of that. You know, like you can, like I said, you can use my stuff to like put in your D&D campaign or something like that. But if you're actually wanting, like make a TTRPG with it, sounds like you're literally going to take my stuff and make a tabletop game with it. And then, you know, have that be a, a thing and i i would be rad though yeah it would though i'm i'm not yet ready for that and i i'd prefer if other people didn't just take my stuff and make it into a game especially if they were gonna fucking like uh market it or something you know that'd be even worse Uh, also, thank you for the two euros, uh, Blue Fire Kirby. Question: How loud would it uh, would it be to fire that gun? I don't know yet. Actually, I don't know how loud acceleration uh, magic should be. Uh, question, Mister Monster Garden: Do you see a possibility of creating a a savage cannibal society shunned from Rom uh, in the future? Savage cannibal society. I'd have to find a good reason for why, you know? I if It'll come about naturally if it does. If not, then no. Um, thank you for the $5. Rose making money. Yes, yes, I am making money. Um, how many mages exist? Because uh, you saw terraforming and fire mages been mentioned. Uh, I'll... There, there's more types of magic, but I don't want to get into it. There, there's a few. <laughs> Let's say that. Um, what are the native, uh, negative effects of fumigation and ex, uh, acceleration mages? Acceleration mages is literally the guy you can see on screen right now. Um, fumigation, I'm not sure yet. I don't know what fumigation's uh metamorphosis is yet. Uh, I was thinking that maybe uh that gun needs some sort of oh boy. Uh, that gun needs some sort of hole on the barrel, dissipating the air pressure generated by the acceleration of the bullet, maybe making it whistle. Oh yeah, that is a good point. Right, if we're thinking about it like that fucking, um, like those tennis ball cannons uh, that that one channel was was doing, uh, where the like the air pressure in front of the tennis ball slows it down so the barrel efficiency goes down at a certain point because the pressure in front of the barrel is just equal to the back so it just starts slowing down instead um that'd actually be a good point to like have holes in the barrel to let the air out uh in front of it instead of you know having to force it out the front with the bullet and it would make like an interesting whistling sound though that wouldn't be good would it because, like, if, if you're trying to be sneaky and you have to set it up in a trench and stuff like that, you wouldn't want it to be loud. Unless, you know, trying to instill fear or something like that. Uh, also, thank you for the 20 nook bonk grot. Grot indeed. Uh, grot indeed. Question. Uh, I'm working on my own fantasy world building project and... Uh, I'm at the magic system stage. Uh, do you have any suggestions on the process of making one? Uh, think about what role you want it to serve in the world. That's uh, pretty much how I started it. I just thought about what I wanted a magic system. Like, what what is my need for a magic system, you know? What did I want to accomplish with it? And And... What I wanted was it to have an effect on the person to differentiate them from normal people. And then it just escalated from there, and I ran with it. You know? So try to figure out what, what it would do 
and why it would do that, how it would change the world, how people would use it. Um, hello, uh, Frick. What? Hold on. Uh, the, 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 I, I missed stuff. Uh, asking for a friend, how many crabs could sneak into a trench before my supervisors uh, would start to get suspicious? Again, purely theoretical, no reason for asking, just curious. Lay off, man, relax. Um, I would say, also, uh, hello, Valley Boar, by the way, uh, or Newman, hello, welcome, Newman. Um, I, I'd say, like, 20 crabs, 20 crabs, yeah, uh, at Monster Garden. Uh, can have it sound like death whistles. Uh, they sound like people screaming for the... Yeah, yeah, I know what death whistles are. Um, I mean, it wouldn't really make sense that it sounds like death whistles because the ear getting forced out is really quick. So it would more sound, yeah, pretty much just like an explosion. Like <laughs> it, it, it would just sound like an explosion, I'd bet. Um, adding on to cannibals, like the cannibal mages... Mages? would be sort of necromancers who worship a sinister god type. They'd devour corpses for certain benefits or splice organs like the game uh, Rot Flesh. Oh yeah, I haven't even gotten into like um, splicing organs and stuff like that. That's like a whole whole other thing. Um, damn. I'll think about it, but I'm I'm not sure. I'm not crazy about a cannibal cult or not about adding a cannibal cult. Uh, thank you for the five dollars, Bonky McNoggins. I'm really behind chat right now. The chat's moving fast. Hold on, I got it. Uh, other bonk. Uh, cheese wheels or grot? You choose one and lose the other forever. Ooh, you're like okay. The thing is, I don't. I don't smoke or anything so i don't think grot would benefit me but i do eat cheese so i think the clear answer for me here is cheese um holy shit there's more um bonky uh bonk just bonk uh thank you for uh the 50 no uh, i choose cheese wheel I, I can't put grot uh on bread or pizza now can i oh was that a question for the other Oh, shit. Yeah, it was. Sorry. I, I wasn't supposed to answer that question. Uh, I just registered that, but uh, yeah. Uh, Bongi McNoggins, thank you for the $5. I approve. Okay, good, good. Let him catch up. Uh, it would go from ah to ah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the whistle would just scream a very loud short screech, and that'd be it. Oh. Uh, Uh, what's the thing going into his stomach? That's the, uh, input, uh, where the magic, uh, comes into him. Com uh, where the... M that That's where the magic goes into him. <laughs> that's the best way I can find to say it, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, does the gun pretty much work like a rail gun? Like the mana flows up the uh, spirals of the rifling and length of the barrel, adding a velocity as it travels? Yes, yes. It would get faster as it goes down the barrel, pretty much. Uh, that's why having a longer barrel uh, for acceleration is good, because the projectile is uh, in contact longer. Um, Uh, feel free to answer. It's your stream, silly. Oh, shucks. Um, thank you for the two dollars, Ponky McNoggins. Um, uh, I'm going to have to go. Uh, I'm working on something. Okay, take care, Mushroom Gamer. Okay, let me let me look for some more references. I like those, but hold on. Let me go for the classic. Not that classic.
thing is, I need references for the uh, deformed arm as well, but I don't think I can actually show them on stream. Uh, because the references I have are absolutely gruesome. Um, so I'll just have to have them off screen while working on the image and hopefully have that work out somehow. Uh, plant mages as stealth soldiers to use camouflage? I don't think you need to have... I... I... Okay... I, I do like the idea of putting mages in many situations, but at some point you just have to think uh, as well if something actually requires magic to be done. If there's a stealth soldier, I don't think you need a, it to be a mage for them to put on some plants over themselves. You know, I think a normal person can do that perfectly fine. Being magic doesn't change that. Also, mages are bigger in in general. They're they're way taller than normal people uh, because of metamorphosis. So like it, it would be even harder <laughs> to hide them. Um, I think that the whistle. Oh, okay. A uh, question: Do the mages accelerate the bullet itself, or do they uh, expand the air behind? No, they accelerate the bullet itself, so there wouldn't be any expanding gases behind the bullet. Um. Which means, actually, there needs to be a hole behind the bullet as well to prevent, like, a vacuum from forming. Holes in the barrel is necessary. Definitely, definitely. Um, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, do, everybody's typing fucking paragraphs, man. Damn, I, I really appreciate it, but I can't read this fast. <laughs> um, print out uh, the reference and individually mail them out to every viewer <laughs> so that we can all see it, but your stream doesn't get vaporized. Ah, oh, yeah, very good idea. Thank you very much. Uh, I will give you an arm and a leg if you make Bonk a god of fortune in the world. Um, we, we have him be something in the world already, so don't worry. Okay, um, pipe bomb gun? Yes. Silent patron, yes, the silent patron. Um, are you Varus gang or Rom army? Me being the creator myself, I I can't pick sides. That's like asking me who's my favorite child. Uh, and obviously there is a favorite, but if I say it, it would upset the other. So I I can't I can't say that. Rom army, let's go. Let's go, Magic Daddy. Magic Daddy needs a Snickers. Okay. Now, let's let's get to uh, color in this. What about a decaying gun? You mean, a, like it's rusting? It just is falling apart? A badly made gun. Uh, have you ever drawn a portrait of someone real? Uh, I wouldn't really call them portraits, um, but I have drawn real people. Uh, some of my friends, and uh, probably the person I've drawn the most is my girlfriend. Though I I always feel bad drawing her, because uh, she's obviously very pretty, and I feel like my drawings don't do her justice. <laughs> it's it's I I feel embarrassed showing them to her because it's like yeah I don't I don't feel like I captured. How pretty she is in them. What's a real person? True. What is a real person? Um, Roken, welcome to the stream. Uh, thank you for the 10 euros. Uh, do curses interact differently with mages? 
Uh, would changes by a curse overpower uh, the changes of being a mage if they are uh, opposed? Uh, like if they do the size, would a curse change the taste of a <laughs> Man. Um, that is, look, the thing is, there's a lot of overlapping things happening. Like, rare cases where mages go into multiple types of magic, that means, like, two types of metamorphosis would overlap each other, uh, which means it, it would look completely or, or look different or weird and be even worse for the person, probably. If you stack a curse on top of that, like, I feel like curses to a mage would basically cripple them at that point, because, like, the metamorphosis is already bad enough, and now you're given the curse on top of that that adds, like, some random modifier. Um, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, yo, sup, Broken? You doing good? I, how... S my man's loaded, god damn it! He's communicating through donations, <laughs> what the fuck? You know you can type in chat normally, I won't be mad. It's okay. Don't have to give me money. <laughs> um, question. How come healing mages can't heal manamorphosis? Because manamorphosis ain't a wound. If you're getting tall... That's like asking, hey, if somebody gets taller, can you heal them shorter? N that doesn't make sense. Obviously, well, a part of the manamorphosis, if the manamorphosis includes getting wounds like for example a, a a disintegration mage's skin falling off and like uh, patches of raw skin appearing yes you can heal that but the parts that are like them getting taller or stretching out or their arm getting longer you can't do that otherwise mages healing mages would just be going around shortening people as a joke um Could they accelerate the metamorphosis? I mean, if you cast a bunch of spells, then yeah, that that would mean you're accelerating it. So, uh, I I guess you could. I don't recommend it. I don't I don't see the benefit of wanting to uh, accelerate the bad thing uh, happening to you, though. Well, it makes you better at the magic as well, I guess. But still, it's not the best. Uh, thank you for the two dollars. Uh, take my money also, cheese, for all the chat, okay? Uh, Bonky McNoggins is giving out cheese to everybody. Everybody, say thank you to Bonky McNoggins, you little rats. You get your cheese now. Um, so enjoy that. Uh, have you ever read Dora Hetero? I haven't read it. I did uh, watch the 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 Netflix series though, uh, and it was very interesting. Uh, very, very interesting. I think I like a lot uh, the the world concept and stuff like that. Obviously, being like grim and gritty and fucking dirty and shit like that. Of course, I like it. Uh, your daily dose of cheese. Thank you very much, Bonky McNoggins. We appreciate it. Um, Bonky, you're so kind. Yes, the cheese tax. Uh, but yeah, oh shit, talking about series, by the way, today, today, uh, through legal means, through legal means, I started watching, uh, Scavenger's Reign, and my god, it is fucking awesome, Scavenger's Reign is awesome, um, it's, it's, it's really fucking good. Like, it got my mind uh, going crazy with the with the ideas and the designs of the creatures and the animation. God, it looks so good. Isn't it Scavenger's World? No, Scavenger's Reign. Uh, that's the name of the series. Um, if anybody's seen that short uh, on on YouTube, where it's like, uh. Uh, a spaceship explodes and then some people crash land on an alien world. Uh, and then they have to, like, survive and they use all these, like, weird-ass aliens in weird ways, like, break them apart, take the... scrape the 
gunk off of this alien's tongue and then feed it to another one to have it run off and then explode and then call the fucking floating invisible one or whatever. That thing turned into a series uh, called Scavenger's Reign, and it's fucking awesome, man. Uh, I only got through three episodes, but damn, it's so good. All the designs are so good, and it's so lively. All of it just feels so alive. Uh, if Long Barrel is what matters for Acceleration Mages, are uh, these spiral guns uh, like trumpets to fit more uh, barrel into a small space, like lengthening the barrel and coiling it? That doesn't make sense. I mean, you, you, you know what happens when you turn a barrel of a gun, right? We've we've learned this in history already. You can't just bend, like, cartoon-style bend a barrel and just have the bullet go that way. Um, it, it's gonna... It's gonna just punch through that fucking bend eventually, or break. Uh, what do you uh, specify through legal means there, pal? Uh, you doing so... Uh, crime? You doing some crime? A little... Uh, pilfering, tiny thief. Uh, thank you for the five dollars, Bunkley Dongs. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I already stated that I'm watching it through legal means, so I don't see what you're what you're trying to get at here, uh, Bunkley McNoggins. I, 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 legal is legal. I mean, obviously, as leak as 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 law abiding citizens do when they're doing something legal, they state it. You know, they're, they they say, hey, I'm currently doing a legal thing, uh, not the illegal one, to make sure that people don't misunderstand them and think that they're doing illegal things. That's how it goes. Uh, so I was just stating, you know, the, the, the obvious. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. No! Ah! Fucking! Uh Jesus. Um, <laughs> uh, I was here for the spell bullet uh, discussion last week, and I have thought about it a bit more. What if spells were delivered by mortars' artillery shells? Well, that would be better, because the shells are bigger, allowing for more space for there to actually be a payload of uh, magic projectile. Uh, thank you for the 20 R's, Snips. Welcome back to the stream. Also, I, I saw that you came in uh, earlier. Uh, sorry, didn't didn't say hello yet. Uh, contribution to the stream with a cheese tribute. Ah, yes. Snips is giving people cheese. Look, Bonky McNoggins is also giving people more cheese. My goodness. Goodness. Cheese abundance. Gotta appreciate these two. Appreciate all the donors. For giving out all this cheese. Okay, let's see. So first, let me get all the values uh, in the right place that I want them to be. I don't know what time of day this is. I'm sort of picturing it being like sunsetty or or like overcast Maybe, I, I have no idea sometime but I think we will darken okay hold on let me let me think where's the light coming from where would be best for the light to come from I feel like from the back here Which means that this side's gotta be darker. Uh, fucking damn! God damn! Ultimate Kiwi, welcome to the stream. Welcome back. Thank you for the 100 euros. Jesus Christ. Uh, I shall make a 
detr detrimental financial decision. Who needs to pay rent anyway? Well, am I right? What? No. <laughs> Love your art and, and effort you put in. Since I have characters left, uh, I just wondered what kind of uh, mental wear do mages uh, accumulate when using magic? Uh, anyways, enough words. See ya. What? Thank you. G really appreciate it, obviously. Um, mental wear. Uh, well, the the thing with magic is, that I'll cover in the next video as well, uh, is that magic is affected by suggestion, right? So your thoughts, uh, which means it also inadvertently amplifies said thoughts, uh, which means to use magic safely, a mage already has to be incredibly focused and tuned in uh, to, to casting spells. Otherwise, their emotions or their thoughts might get the better of them. Um, so the emotional toll on a trained mage probably would be fine, but maybe over time it might waver and they might become weak and and lose their shit. They could go insane, which actually would affect them physically as well. I, I'm going to cover it in the next video. Uh, actually, literally the next video, because there's some interesting things uh, about that. Also, thank you for the $50, Bonky McNoggins. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, Kiwi, don't make poor financial decisions. Yeah, uh, also that as well. Please don't make financial poor decisions. Grammar. Um, let me do it for you. Make sure... Make sure you don't waste your money. Oh, uh, boy. Thanks, both of you. Uh, Bonks, thank you for the 20 nook. Jesus Christ, Kiwi. More cheese. Okay, Roken, thank you for the 10 euros. Fucking no. God damn. Stop. Can healing mages, uh, instead of stimulating the multiplication of body cells, actually stimulate the... Uh, ap the what the huh? The apoptosis? Apoptosis? Uh, having the cells kill themselves off? Uh, the magic would just trigger another process. Uh, no, no, I don't think it would work with killing cells. It would just uh, heal them and, and create new ones. So if you like overhealed somebody, it would start like become tumorous and stuff like that. Um, I, I, it wouldn't kill cells, I don't think. Uh, thank you for the $10, Bucky McNoggins. More cheese for our cheese lord. Uh, feed the Simon. Wait, no, this is for the chat, not for me. I I, I don't think I can handle this much cheese. Um, Sir Monster Garden, what are your thoughts on dragons or dragon-like creatures in your world? By the way, what kind of cheese uh, hell did I come back to? I, I don't know. There's too much cheese. Way too much cheese. Um, but I like dragons dragons are cool but i don't think they fit in the setting uh or at least basic uh like like the base design dragon of what you think of when you when i say dragon doesn't fit in the world anything with scales to me at least doesn't really fit i i have like a visual you know i've been with the world so long that i have sort of like grown to f I, I I have an idea of what I want it to be, obviously, and I just don't think dragons fit. I, I want dragon-like creatures, though, like things that are oppressive, that are gigantic and and cause havoc, like a like a natural disaster uh, in the form of a of a living being. Um, so definitely creature-like dragons uh, will exist. And obviously, I want to use the word dragon as well. Um, I was thinking that dragons would be a category of creature instead. Like, if they're destructive enough, they're considered a dragon. So it's not like a dragon is a specific species, but it's a categorize, categorization of creature. Um, question. Sir, would metamorphosis um, uh, provide any intrinsic benefits uh, to their specialty? Yes. Yes, it would. Um, there are probably some of you could do with... Hold on. Uh, uh, question. Do dwarves have mages no uh anyone know what the side effect of healing is uh tumors tumors and overgrowing skin flesh and bone uh, causing a lot of pain
Dragon level threat. Yeah, pretty much. Drakes, Wyverns. I, I never understood, like, the categorization of, of like... You, you know the argument that happens where it's like, no, that's not a dragon, that's a wyvern, or that's a drake. It only has the two pair of wings and two legs. It's like, who cares? <laughs> if if the author of the world says that that's a dragon in their universe, then it's a dragon. Every world can have a different... It's a fantasy creature. Like, what are you... I don't understand why you, why people get so worked up about, like some dragons not counting as dragons because other universes have dragons with four legs and some have dragons with two legs, you know? It's like, if if the author says that's a dragon in that world, then that's it. Like, it's a dragon for that universe. So what's the... What's the point? Yeah, D and D and Tolkien. Yeah, and then people just took it way too like strictly. Like it's a fucking creature that actually exists and has like a species or genome or something like that. Bad. Tr I'm gonna go get some water. I'll be right back. By the way, uh, don't do anything weird while I'm gone. Because the water's not that far away. I'll be back before you get a chance to do anything weird. back what mischief are you up to oh come on come on seriously hold on fucking don't no 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 donkey mcnoggins thank you for the 22 dollars uh there's no place where you can find enough cheese let alone too much cheese true true okay yeah i'm i'm back Stop spamming those words. Terrible, terrible. You naughty, naughty people. You donated for that? Are you kidding me? Seriously. Bonk, thank you for the 20 nook. But no good. No good. Say it. Say no. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. You can't make me. You cannot make me. Okay. I'm gonna just... The best way to, like, get started with an image for me is to just start chucking colors at a canvas. Uh, and then, like, eventually sort of slowly hone it in. Because uh, I don't stress about like having the colors in the right places yet. I'm just trying to get all the colors to feel right first. Uh, thank you for the five pounds. Uh, the ultimate kiwi. Appreciate it. Uh, we are the Shadow uh, Wizard Money Gang. Very cool. Um, very cool. Stop sending more money. You don't... Uh, yeah, right. Kiwi, please. <laughs> you can't pay rent anymore 
Like, like, are you, are you selling your own belongings? Is it like you're selling your car and fucking... Uh... Okay, fair enough. Is your world going to have the same type of creatures as IRL? Like, a warm, warm-blooded animals have four limbs, insects have six, and so on? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's still gonna be like that. So, like, most creatures that exist in the real world would uh, most likely still be, still exist in this one as well. Uh, except for, like, obviously, uh, depending on the region as well, because uh, we're dealing with, like, more of a cold uh, sort of region. I'd expect, like, you know, lizards and snakes and stuff like that not to really be that common or a thing. Uh, thank you. Cease pissing. God damn it, I said it. Cease. Cease pissing, chat. Uh, don't make poor financial decisions and consume cheese. These are the requirements to the cheese, uh, to be a cheese peasant. Um, I, I prefer the term rats. I'll just call them rats instead of cheese peasants. Little rats. He said it. Uh, good work, chat. Fair enough. You win. God damn it, Joe Biden. I don't want your master class. Give me my music. What the fuck? I'm, I'm going to teach you how to conquer a country. Did anybody else get that fucking commercial yet? What? No, the YouTube commercials. There's literally... Joe Biden has a fucking master class. Biden Blast! By the way, I like that song, by the way. <laughs> Biden Blast is fucking awesome. Little out of left field. Yeah, sorry, context. I'm listening to music in the background, and between songs, it just... You know, the, the fucking Joe Biden master class... It came out of nowhere. Uh, what? Is thimbles in your world used as a euphemism for balls? Huh? No. What? No, thimbles. You know, they're, they're a literal thing in the real world. They're the things that, that so you, you put on your finger when you're sewing... So that you're, you know, you don't have to, like, push against the needle on your finger the whole time to, to, and, and get, like, a dent in your finger. They're thimbles. That's an actual thing in the world. Not euphemism for balls. Search up thimbles and you'll see it. Like, they're literally the little cup things. How much money have I chucked your way? I don't know if I can actually check that. But honestly, I would say it's definitely... Past like five hundred dollars, <laughs> like solidly past five hundred, probably six hundred dollars at this point. Uh, Bonky McNoggins. There was one stream where you gave me like three hundred, I think. So whatever it is, it is far beyond um anything I would be deserving of. But either way, I do appreciate it a lot. Cast Fimble Torsion. Yeah, that was a good stream. It was, it was, a, uh, it was 
definitely something. Uh, <laughs> so, like in my in my uh, on on the YouTube like the YouTube studio where I can check my income. Uh, there's just this giant spike <laughs> where that stream happened pretty much where it's like um, sort of like yeah twenty dollars fifty dollars a day thirty dollars and then five hundred and thirty and then going back down and then fifty sixty <laughs> like it was a Jesus Christ fucking Mount Everest uh question is creature appearance size a s equal size scraper but the only thing it can it it did was to just make every living being in its radius deaf would that be a dragon does it have to be hostile i i do think it has to be hostile to be considered a dragon i do think dragon is sort of like a danger level thing uh, more than it is just like a size thing uh, but like a giant thing that caused people to be deaf in a in a big radius that's the size of a skyscraper, I'd say that's probably some sort of dragon. Uh, thank you for the ten dollars again. You deserve the money because I said so. Stop having self doubt and take our money. Okay, fair enough. Thank you for the ten dollars, Donkey McNoggins. I appreciate it, and I deserve it. Next comment, stop being so self-entitled. <laughs> Immediately. Streamer thinks he's entitled to people's money and asks for more, complaining that he does not get enough. Or a Lamborghini. Something. So not humble. <laughs> yeah, terrible, terrible. Um, can healing ma oh. can healing magic also affect uh, other living cells? Uh, could it be used to grow uh, colonies of bacteria? Yes, yes, it could. Uh, and aid in cheese production. Yes, it could technically be used to help in cheese production. Technically, it it would be possible. Okay, I want to play around with, like, the colors of his skin tone and, like, actually use, like, fucking green and blue in it. I think I can get away with it somewhat. Or, like, a more yellowish tone. Uh, thank you for the $10 again. Here's more. Thank you, Bonky McNuggins. Appreciate it. Goodness. Man. Thank you for the $2, uh, Alfie. Let me draw, please, you guys. I appreciate the money, but I... I Request for testicular torsion magic to be canon. No. Look, I appreciate the money, but you can't be forcing me to make things, uh, make, make things canon. No, testicular torsion magic will not be canon. You can put that in your own... Like, okay, the thing is, it doesn't have to be canon. If you want to believe that testicular torsion magic works in my world, then go ahead. You can have it be that way. Uh, I'm not going to stop you, but it's not going to be canon. But you can use it. Why not turn your into a show or animated... Or not animated, cooler route in my opinion. Animated. I mean, you, that that's not an easy task, man. <laughs> oh yeah, just animate your show, make it into a show. I the, that is a really tall order. You know, I I'd love to. I mean, that that'd be very interesting, though. I mean, I don't think I'd be up for that anytime soon. Uh, that seems like a very, you know, a very big thing.
Uh, thank you for the 20 uh, you, uh, uh, pounds of the ultimate kiwi. Once again, please. <laughs> Whoops, it seems like I've slipped and pressed super chat. How clumsy. I swear it's the last time since uh, I'm going now. Okay. Thank you very much, the ultimate kiwi. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, and Bonky McNoggins and all the other people who are donating. But my god. <laughs> I hope you have a good rest of the day, wherever you're going next. Bonky McNoggins, thank you for the $5. Zenith, thank you for the $5. IGET, last donation for me for the day. Anyone want to flood my, flood him with donation as a last call? I'm gonna weep. <laughs> I can only hold my composure for that long. Um, Zenith, uh, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, I'm curious, uh, to see had you would make uh, centaurs and elves look. Uh, also maybe you can give dragons air sacks like the one boss in Shadow of the Colossus. Ooh, that would be neat. Yeah, I really like that boss. By the way, that's the biggest one, and it's really cool. I mean, well, I don't know if it's the biggest one if you count the uh, last boss. Um, an animation show requires animation, sound design, writers, composers, voice actors. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, it's going to cost a lot if I were to do that. But like a small animation, if I were to be able to like fund a small animation. Just enough to like show the feeling of the world that would be so big um yeah what is the average level of understanding of science in this world uh medieval and modern day it's like a weird mix uh some things are far more along than others so uh, it's hard to say. I'm I'm not sure how I how I can answer that. online go away fund it with chat donations well i'd have to like that that would be like a really big undertaking by the way i don't think that's like a quick decision yeah let's do that now i i'd have to like think really hard about how that's gonna actually go i'd love to do it but i, I i'd need to do like a lot more planning because uh, what I'd love to do is to have it be like an animation that goes with music. Uh, pretty much like picture it like a sh like a trailer sort of vibe going to it. Probably like panning shots showing environments and people like uh, hiding in trenches, you know, like <laughs> like looking around the corner or something like that. Showing off some like strange creatures and and shit going on. A witch hunt. Probably with like music sort of building in the background and like being all weird. If okay, if if you want to have a picture of like how I feel like I'd love for an animation to go, it would be oh, what's that animation? I completely forgot. Um, there's a guy who made like a insane animation. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me let me find it. I think it's on pick apart. A starty? No, 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 not a starty. Uh, um, ah, uh, here it is. A uh, fucking playground. Playground. Uh, search up. Uh, is it the first thing that comes up? 
in the thing. No, it isn't. God, that's annoying. Hold on. My nose is... Uh... Yeah, right playground trailer. The one with the children? Yes, the one with the children. It is fucking awesome. It is insane, that trailer. Um, I mean, obviously, it, it's not an actual show, but I love the idea behind him, like, oh, this would be a show I would love to do, and making it look like it would be an actual trailer for a show. But, like, how the music fits with the animation and like how it shows the creatures in environments and stuff like that is just oh, it is it is oh, it's so good show it i, I mean i i don't know if i can is that like an okay thing to do on stream uh can i get confirmation i don't know if that's that's all right to do on stream or not what video playground Unlikely, yeah. I mean, if if you want to, you can go off and look at it. Like, just search Playground Trailer, um, and you'll find it. It's the one with, like, the freaky face on it. But yeah, like, something like that. If it's copyright or not. Depends if it's copyright or not. It, it's definitely copyrighted. I mean, obvi I, I feel like it, it would, of course, be copyrighted. You know? But just go off and look at it yourself. I was like, it is so good. Uh, I can link it. No, I just search playground trailer. It's it's not that hard to find. Um, but yeah, something like that definitely. I'd love to have something like that for the uh, for the world because it is like like it's insane how much that one minute of of animation does. It's one minute. The The whole thing is one minute, but it, it's just this beautiful mix of visuals that just helps you get such a crazy picture of, of what the world is like and stuff like that. You know, if you if it, I feel like that would be a lot better than having it be like an animation that is following a plot. Because, uh, yeah, that would do something, but like it, it would show the world from one perspective, but having it be like that, where it's like cutting between shots from different locations and different events happening, that would be, that would be something. The Lion Studio? Uh, let me check. No, I, I haven't seen any of this yet. Hold on, let me look at some of this. Ooh. Damn, the lighting. What the? Holy shit. So awesome, what the fuck?
What's he watching? Uh, I'm currently watching Heavenly Vessel by The Line. Um, the channel's called The Line, and I'm watching a video called The Heavenly Vessel, or just Heavenly Vessel. Uh, thank you for the five euros. Uh, Roken? Uh, don't know if I hashtag... What, if I hashtag V? Uh, missed that, but have you thought up any magic besides healing, combustion, and terraforming by now? Yes, yes, I do. Um... It's it's uh, vocalist illusion, uh, fumigation, uh, combustion healing, uh, acceleration terraforming, uh, physical, and was oh, there another one? Illusion? I don't know if I said illusion already, but yeah, there there are other ones now. Great animation studio. Yeah, I'll keep it in mind, actually. Uh, I'm going to look at some of the other ones, definitely. Uh, maybe get some inspiration. But yeah, having like a animated video that matches up with with music would be so good. Cause like, okay, the the playground one, like the music's so perfect for that one as well. The music's so perfect. Like I couldn't picture a better soundtrack for that thing. Uh, physical magic is enhancing your own body with magic, so, like, stronger. Making yourself stronger. Um, but I'm a witch. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it might be a bit weird question, but how did you make the little animated overlay? What? But how did you make the animated overlay for... I forgot his name. Oh, uh, The Stranger. I, I mean, I, I'd made it in Krita. And then I just exported it as a, uh, as a GIF file. And then just put it over the stream. That's pretty much it. Nothing too complicated. Like, I could definitely try my hand at animating. It would just take a really long time, I think. Uh, I don't think I'd be the best at it either, but if it's, like, more simple animation of, like, 
someone like sitting and breathing and stuff like that, I'm fine. Well, actually, hold on. If his shadow goes till there, then the wall's shadow would actually go, like, till here. That actually block, like, a pretty large portion of the drawing, which is actually cool. I don't normally do that much, like, strong lighting. Uh, sorry I'm not reading the chat much, by the way. I'm, I'm just getting, like, really into the drawing right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it in a little bit. Let me get a few more colors down. Okay, uh, idea for the mon uh, metamorphosis of the physical mage. Uh, he should just get uh, dumber and dumber, which means with each spell until his brain is soup. That wouldn't make sense. Why the effect of metamorphosis would be them getting dumber. Uh, at least to me, that doesn't make sense. Because, well, it, magic requires like a high intelligence and understanding so you just get you just lose the ability to actually use the magic Um, see your suggestion. The side effect just makes your hips white. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Kiwi, you lost your thimbles? What? Uh... Uh, if the body mana versus makes the way of thinking change with metamorphosis of their brain, their way of thinking changes. Yeah, I feel like they'd embody their magic more as they get deeper into it. Um, like probably fire mages getting furious and angry, obviously, and stuff like that, perhaps.
I like the lighting of this. I think the lighting's interesting. It's definitely not the same as like the very detailed soft lighting of the images I'm using as references though, that's for sure. I might want to try and get some of that feeling. Um on. first of all I gotta like make the sky more of More bright. Uh, there you go. Does telepathy exist in your world? No. Um, well, fire is also considered a symbol of uh, passion, too. Maybe fire mages are more prone... Well, passion is more of the... Like, over time, it, it became passion. But, like, a roaring flame... A forest fire doesn't make me think of passion. Um, you know? Maybe a campfire, sure. Or, or like, a nice contained fireplace in a house, but not a forest fire. Side effect could be that uh, to get weaker and weaker in their normal state till they have to use some magic uh, at all times. Maybe. Maybe that could be interesting. How am I thinking about the val- How am I feeling about the values? I'm trying to like zoom out a lot so I can like see what the silhouettes are looking like with the image. And I think it's it's getting there. I just need to have some like darker values here to like help this form pop out more. Um, so just make sure to like clean up the edges here. Just see how... Uh, also, this guy's still lacking a lot of work. Uh. There you go. Oh, thank you for the $5, Bonky McNoggin. Simon, it seems like you have a prestigious quest in your hall. A, a what? A prestigious guest? 
Uh, I oh shit! Hey, Tail Foundry, how's it going? Um, love Monster Garden, super inspiring. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, welcome, Tail Foundry. How's it going? Uh, if you're wondering what we're currently working on, at the moment I am working on an acceleration mage or a, an image of an acceleration mage in a trench, uh, aiming their rifle or well, their staff. Um, the staves look like rifles because, well, pretty much their purpose is the same. You have a thing that has a scope on it so you can aim, and then it fires projectiles, but they're accelerated with magic instead. Um, what's up, Simon? Uh, nothing much. Nothing much. Uh, the drawing's going well, though, uh, I feel like. Um, I'm getting the values pretty just, just honed in at the moment. Uh, poor lad here, I was thinking was, like, just, you know, there'd be multiple soldiers in the trenches, but also just he's the guy who's, like, helping reload the gun while the mage is, like, focused on firing, uh, because the mechanism is on this side, so he'd just, after a shot, he'd, he'd get up and, like, reload the gun for him, and then hunker back down. Um, love the idea of acceleration mages being a, a gunslinger or, like, a sniper. So clever. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it made more sense to me. I mean, uh, every type of magic would have, like, really different uh, casting items, uh, outputs, uh, ways of casting them. But for acceleration, it just made sense that, well, they're, the thing that they use to cast would look most like a gun because they're using it the same way. Um, it has recoil, like their spells have recoil. They need to aim long distances, so it made sense that it would be a gun. Okay, let's see. How are the rewards? I think the... I, I like how bright the skin is on his back, actually. That really makes it stand out. I think I'm going to keep that. Um... Uh, the fact that Kiwi lacks the... Um, what? Uh, thank you for the $5, uh, Douglas. Appreciate it. Uh, maybe a side effect of acceleration mages could be their sense of time is all whack. Every conversation drags on for them. Oh, yeah, maybe it could be like a sort of steroid-esque thing where they get like really aggressive and have like short attention spans and and bursts of anger and stuff like that. Um, that that I, I feel like that would be like the, the most obvious thing that they definitely need would be for them to go into basically like Hulk rage um, style thing. Even in, like, their normal day-to-day -day life, they couldn't probably deal with that anymore after a while, because they'd just be so mad. <laughs> ah, I need to fucking punch somebody here. Whatever. Uh, I do love how gritty and unglamorous a lot of your fantasy magic is. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen you draw magic in a way uh, that made it look fun and easy. <laughs> No, no, I definitely haven't. Um, but yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, you, you flatter me, uh, Tail Foundry. But yeah, I, I like it being gritty. Um, I, I feel like, though the side effect of that is, and the side effect of me, like, drawing the bad sides of it a lot and, like, showing people in these, like, grim, sort of dreadful situations makes it also seem like this is the worst idea possible. Like, why Why are people even wanting to be mages in the first place? Like, I've not shown the good side at all. Um, I need to do more work in actually, like, showing spells in action so you can see what they're actually sacrificing all of this for, you know? They're sacrificing their, their, their body, their sanity. Uh, they're literally, like, most of them are rotting away, uh, like this guy's arm and stuff like that. So, like, what are they getting out of it? So, uh, drawing some images of people casting spells would be really good to show, like, the actual power that they gain from this sacrifice uh, and that it's completely worth it in their eyes. Obviously, you have to be mad to a certain extent to want to do this to yourself for the sake of power, but some people definitely would be. Um, especially, mages. yeah, the mages. They're, they're a different type of people. They're a different breed, let's say. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I tried to draw some images of, like, uh, terraforming mages, but I have not done a good job. Oh, uh, here's a healing mage as well. 
uh, Tail Foundry, if you're wondering. Or this is just a normal healer. Um, and then this guy's the healing mage. Where we were sort of thinking that they would be... Uh, oh, yeah, totally. Especially besides all those images of people suffering from their magic. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the the healing mage's idea is like because they basically make it so a, a person regenerates faster, the side effect of it is that they themselves also grow unnaturally like they have tumors and growths and um they they their bones also grow weird like that one condition so they also are like in pain constantly like struggling to move and stuff like that but um because of the perspective of of ram um they 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 see it as being like a a a valiant sacrifice like a heroic deed you're sacrificing you're you're suffering through all this pain for the sake of healing others so they're they're like incredibly respected as, as these like uh holy figures like you you you're willing to endure all this pain for the sake of healing others you know uh to the point where like their hands are considered sacred artifacts so they're like um bound in these like large mittens to not get them damaged until the time comes to heal somebody and then you know they have like all these runes and stuff like that they take them off and then heal somebody and stuff like that it's like a great honor to be healed by one of them living martyrs yeah yeah uh cuts to a guy covered in blood with a long plague tongue yeah he's they definitely don't look friendly but but they are healing uh, but then we, we got the Combustion Mage here, which is like a Fire Mage, pretty much. They got a lot of these bugs floating around. Uh, the bugs are healing bugs. Um, they basically do the same job as healing mages, but they're a lot worse at it. And, you know, they're bugs. Um, they're like those those fish that clean sharks, but they heal people instead. But obviously, they don't really take care of anatomy and stuff like that. So they mostly, like, heal wrong and stuff. So it's for... It's for um, emergency situations uh here then i tried to like uh there draw some like uh terraforming mages but it it has not i i'm not happy with it yet it looks very goofy especially this guy um so yeah uh i'll have to don't 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 mind this that's just from the last stream yeah, anyway. Uh, I'd love to see flesh-eating maggots as a holy symbol of some sort or something. I mean, hmm, maggots as a holy symbol. How would that work, though? I mean, the... The... Rom believes in in getting to the center of the earth, and they probably respect worms and stuff like that. Creatures that are deep within the earth, so like digging creatures might be um, a symbol for them. I don't know if that would stretch as far as to count maggots as well. Uh, maybe in a sort of roundabout way, they could consider corpses getting eaten by maggots as them becoming one with the earth again, uh, which which sort of you know finishes the cycle so they respect it or or whatever that might be some way to like pull it let's eat another dwarf no we're not eating another dwarf just getting the tour yeah i just wanted to give him the rundown you know um honored guest you you got to you got to show him around you know Finish the cycle? Haha! <laughs> oh, I didn't do that intentionally at all, actually. <laughs> Poliostasis' first song for the Monster Garden was called The Cycle. Um, another dwarf? We ate one? Oh, you don't know? <laughs> Last stream, um, people kept donating to take bites out of a dwarf <laughs> until, the, until they ate the whole fucking thing. It was, it was horrifying. Uh, other people donated to try and patch it back up with band-aids, but yeah, people ate too much. The people eating it definitely outweighed the people trying to save it. Um, I was thinking about in situations where people have uh, terrible infections and uh, dead tissue and not, 
and no access to medicine or uh, surgery. They'd use maggots to eat and clean away the rotten flesh. Oh, yeah, that is a good point. I mean, there there were people like using um, leeches and stuff like that, right? And I do think in the setting they would use leeches as well. So like using maggots to eat away at wounds intentionally? That is an interesting idea. A very grim one. I mean, it's with the world. <laughs> Everything else is fucking grim. Um, yeah, thanks for the tour. Really cool stuff to see. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, uh, also, uh, Tail Foundry, I, I appreciate the advice you, you gave, like, a while ago, by the way. I've been trying to, like, apply it for, for thumbnails and make them a lot more striking. Um, I, I think it has worked out. You know, I, I think it's helped. Uh, don't think I've I've perfected it yet. There's still a lot of <laughs> error and stuff like that, but obviously that's that's gonna come with time and practice. So I'll just get better at it. But you spoke before, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he he reached. Uh, they reached out to me to like uh give me advice and stuff like that, which I really appreciated. Uh, want to become a graphics designer, uh, when they start a YouTube channel, but, uh, I was like, man, I really want to become a graphic designer. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I didn't think about it that way before either. Um, I guess I, I've started putting a, on a lot of different hats that I didn't think I would ever have to put on, uh, for the sake of the YouTube channel. So you're right. Um, Oh, by the way, uh, Tail Foundry. I mean, not not to sound arrogant or anything. If you if you ever want to uh, want any art for me or something, I'm, I'm I'm available. By the way, I don't know why you'd want it, but if you do, perhaps I, I'd be really down to to draw on something for you if you want. I I feel like it wouldn't fit at all. <laughs> by the way, with your like normal style of videos, um how they look and stuff like that obviously it'd stick out like a sore thumb but i'm just the offer is open you know uh if you perhaps need it for something i'm here just hit me up be arrogant i, I don't know if that's like a arrogant thing to say or something to offer uh art We do so much gruesome stuff. Yeah, I know, I know, but the art style is, you know, like, like, uh, that cool, like, thingy style. I, I don't know how to describe it. Hail Foundry is a distance experience by nature at this point. Fair, fair. I guess so. But yeah, uh, if, if you, uh, find interest or use for my work, then tell me, because I'd love to draw some stuff. Uh, no cost, by the way. I just want to draw stuff for you, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so up to you. Uh, I know what you mean, though. I'll have to hit you up about it sometimes. Uh, there are literally a million projects I could imagine uh, you doing work on. Oh, well, that's fun. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. You know, I I must say I think I'm pretty good with commissions. So, not to toot my own horn, but I'd say I'm pretty good at listening to my clients and knowing exactly what they want and and communicating back and forth. You know, getting looking exactly like they want. So, <laughs> paid in exposure. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be paid in exposure. 
I mean, honestly, just the idea of getting to to work with Dale Foundry on something is enough to make me want to do it. You know, so I don't I don't even care. <laughs> toot my own horn. To toot my own horn. Uh, thank you for the offer, dude. Uh, I'd love to commission you sometimes. Anyway, uh, I'm lapsing back into listening mode here. Okay, okay. Enjoy the rest of your stay. I don't know. I'm I'm just rubbing out the same values here. It's it's not really going anywhere. I feel like I need to do bigger, bigger strokes, push it further. Um, it's not really changing much at the moment. So let me just uh start throwing in some more colors, perhaps. I mean, do we need more colors? I, I feel like the sand or dirt needs to have some like more grayish greens because the thing is i've sort of made it look like it's a desert but it's not supposed to be a desert it's just very muddy and dirty so like maybe pulling in some weird gray to like help hint at grass perhaps well there wouldn't be getting grass on there it doesn't make sense they're they're it's the dirt dug up from inside the trench pulled outwards so it doesn't make sense Okay, uh, what, rubbing out the same value is going to push it? Okay, no, no, hold on, god damn it, no, 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 I was not meaning bigger strokes, god damn it, no, I was not, oh my god, you people, you know what I meant, perverts, you perverts. Uh, actual question. Sorry if I've been missing like uh, lots of questions. If I haven't answered yours, just post it in the chat again. Uh, don't spam it though. Just reasonably post it, uh, and I'll probably come around to it. Uh, actual question: Have you seen the amazing digital uh, artist called uh, Jacob or Jacob? I, I pronounce it like my character. Uh, Jacob Rosalski. Also, girl, are you a terraforming mage? Because you have made a part of me a rock. <laughs> I have no regrets. Oh my god. Insanity. God damn it. Please don't start with the uh with the pickup lines again. We've done enough of those in other streams. Um I'm gonna search up their name. I'm I'm not good with names, so I'll have to uh look them up. But give me just a sec. Okay. Uh yuck. Keyboard's slowly dying on me, and I refuse to buy another one before this one disintegrates. Uh, Jakob Rosalski. Whoa! What the? Yo! Oh, this guy! Right, right, right. No, no, I know this guy. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of his work. You know you want to, don't fight it. No, no, no. Uh, it needs to be something in the Discord. Uh, a bloody dwarven pickup line contest? No. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, that's actually a fun thing that would might be interesting. I'll consider it, okay? But just... <laughs> I'll consider it. Uh, question. Uh, do you have any interests of water creatures in the Monster Garden? Um, also, are you an acceleration mage? Because if, with you, I can't go slow. <laughs> God damn. Um, water creatures, I have considered them. I have designed a water creature before called the Sucra Veil. Um, so, so water creatures exist. It's just that because the war and everything else that is happening in the Monster Garden mostly happens on land, uh, water and anything surrounding it or associated with it isn't really my first priority. Um, though we can definitely like design water creatures for the fun of it, just to have them, but they wouldn't like play a significant role in the story or, or the world because, well, they're just far away from the main action. Um, 
thank you for the five euros. Uh, could the people who climb towers uh, and modify themselves with magic giving themselves wings? Uh, no, that's pushing it a little too far. I doubt uh, wings would be that much of a possibility. Uh, clicks and hisses in dwarf con lane. Take me, Torvik. <laughs> no. Uh, question, Simon. What do you think is the most intimidating uh, number of sides? What? What do you think is the most intimidating number of sides for a blank monolith to have? Um, four. I'd say four. Four sides. I was gonna say three, but then it makes it look thin. You know, I'd say four. That's like the classic. Easily eight, six? Hmm. I mean, yeah, but I, I I feel like four, the classic four, it's five. Huh. Interesting. Question. <laughs> what? There was no question. Uh, commission. Draw stranger and dwarves making out. How much? No. <laughs> Roken, no. We are not going to draw... The stranger making out with a dwarf. Uh, I want to part your beard like I like Moses parted the Red Sea. Um, who the fuck is Moses? <laughs> The dwarf goes, who's Moses? I don't know who Moses is. Question, foot or no? God damn it, foot or toe, welcome back. But yeah. But... Uh, have you seen an indie project called The Girl? Uh, are you a fire mage? Because... What? Girl, are you a fire mage? Because you have burnt me out. <laughs> uh, any tips for aspiring artists uh, for the gritty design process like yours? I don't know, man. Like, uh, what I do is I just sort of, like, I, I don't stress out about cleanliness too much. Uh, like, I go right from sketch to color, and then I color everything on one layer. Uh, I don't use any more layers than that. Uh, unless it's, like, I... I I'm just worried that I'll mess something up. I'll just add an extra layer and then just draw on top of it. And when I think it's fine, I'll just merge them together again and keep it as one layer because uh, I'm just more comfortable working that way. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. Just uh, take a lot of inspiration from other gritty stuff and like try to draw like it, like it probably. That'd be my advice. Um, I mean, I myself am doing a poor job of it. That's my reference. And <laughs> my drawing's looking nothing like the reference. But... You 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 know what I mean, you know. I think I need more wooden beams holding up the trench. That would definitely help the uh, blankness of the wall here. Hold on, I gotta put it behind this guy's helmet and have it stand out. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm actually gonna draw for a little bit, so give me a sec until I start reading stream again. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's also, I should probably also show that there's a hole in the wall where the gun is sticking in. It's looking like the gun is just stuck into the dirt without anything. Should have probably. Uh, like that. Okay, and then we can have like wood beams on either side. Like one there, and then one on that side.
Okay. I also want some red roots on the walls as well, but not too much because the red roots are like quite an oppressive uh, color. So I might put some like in the background here. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I can use my new brush, actually. A brush I made just to like force these into the image real quick. So let me get red. color of this brush is what annoys me though. I messed it up somehow so it like changes the actual color of the thing I'm drawing. So like I have to go like a lot darker to get the right tone and it just never is right. Damn it. I guess I'm not going to use the brush because it just doesn't look right. Oh, uh, you know what I can do? I can actually just draw it on a separate layer. <clears throat> I have a plan. I'll show you. Uh, okay, let me read the chat a little bit more. Uh, imagine what bites beard seductively. Take me, Torvik. God damn it! Stop wanting to seduce Torvik or or be taken by Torvik. God damn it, Torvik! I see you across the forge. The embers of the fire illuminating your yellow eyes and the sweat dripping off of your beard. The way you swing that hammer makes me feel all sorts of ways. Take me, Tor. Why am I playing along? What the fuck am I doing? Simon? Yes. What's up? What's up? What's wrong? What happened? Don't stop. Won't you look at me the same way you look at those ornate blades of yours? <laughs> Honestly, when I see you work at those weapons, how attentive, how delicate you are with them, I get a little jealous. <laughs> I need to stop. This is unhealthy. Do not write Dwarf Erotica. <laughs> I'm not encouraging anybody to do it. No. Cause obviously I'd do I'd do it better than you. No no. <laughs> I'd I'd fucking kill it if I did, but I won't. No no. Um Somebody's gonna ask question, what's wrong with you? <laughs> They're gay for each other now. Oh my god. Questions. Have you seen any of Simon Stallenhog's work? Yes, yes I have. Uh, he shares the same name as me. I'm Simon as well, which means eventually, uh, when the time comes, I'll have to go into a fight to the death with him, and hopefully whoever wins will consume the other and gain their powers. And Simon obviously has fought a lot of Simons and gained a lot of their powers because he's fucking amazing and his stuff is awesome. So I'm sure if I get into a fight with him, hopefully I'm going to win and consume him to gain his power. That's how Simons work, by the way. Um, obviously, uh, the most powerful Simon of all, everybody knows, is uh, Simon Cowell. So um, I, I don't want to go for the big boss right away, but Simon Lord just dropped. Yeah, yeah, this is how the Simons work. Uh, question. Hey, Torvik. Uh... Are you a bread forger? Because you can bake my cake any day? God damn, no. Stop it now. Oh, whoops, I've been drawing this on the wrong layer. Have you seen the Twitter artist Derpixion? Pixion? Hold on, let me search that up. Pixion. Uh. Hold on. No. 
Why? Oh. Oh, uh, I see. I see. Well, uh, I, uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, ever thought about making a video game? Yes. Yes, I have. Poor soul. Well, I, I don't mind. It's an NSFW artist, so what? Um, I, I, I recognize one of their animations that went, like, uh, big on YouTube, the fucking, uh, mime one. I know that one. I didn't know their name, though. I just saw that one, like, I think I recognize it. Do dwarves lay eggs? Uh, no. No, they do not. I should really remove that red gun from the side so it doesn't block my screen. Time of war can it? What? Uh, question. Uh, do you think that healing mages carry around tools to cut off or uh, out their growths? Well, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course they would. Um, or is it an... No, no. They, they would definitely, like, cut them off and try to, like, uh, keep them in check and stuff like that. I, I doubt they'd want to, like, allow them to get out of hands. If, if they didn't, I feel like they would become useless a lot quicker than if they did take care of them. Hold on, give me just a sec. Uh, have you read all of the Silent and Stalin Hog books? Oh, you do not know. I don't read. Well, I... I read things, but I've never, like, finished a whole book. Um, if we're not counting, like, children's books, by the way. When I was a child, I definitely read a few children's books. Uh, but I mean, like, a proper... You know, like, big story book. Uh, I've never, like, finished one of those. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've not read his books. I've seen his arts, and I've watched the uh, the videos about them on, on the strange... Uh, strange the, that, that channel that covered his, his worlds. You know, the same one that did um, Rustin Hummus, and the same one that did um, some other ones as well, like a lot of other ones. Bro doesn't read. Yeah, I just don't... I'm not into reading. I, I don't have that sort of thing. Like, I, I can't imagine things when reading them. Uh, if I read something, I, I don't, like, picture the world or something. For me, it just doesn't work that way. You know? I'm very visual. Like, I have to draw it out to see it. I can't picture it in my head like that. A Curious Archives? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Curious Archives. He didn't read the joke. I'm not going to go back to read it either. Ah. I'm avoiding it entirely.
there you go. What was, it what, what I was gonna do was I can do this, and then select opaque. Uh, then I can shrink selection. By like a few pixels. And then I can do like a brighter color. Like that to have them have like an outline so I can just quickly like draw them in and have them stand out by having them like have a darker outline. There you go. Ta-da! That was what I was going to do. See? Like that makes them pop a lot. Uh, question. Uh, by the way, I appreciate people putting like the big question in front of it because it really helps me like identify which ones are questions by like just a glance. Uh, does... Mages come from, uh, do, did mages come about recently on your world, or did they exist since ancient times? Uh, I'd say, like, on the scope of human history, it is recent, but it has definitely been around long enough for there to be, like, schools of magic, the study of magic, for it to be having been discussed in history and stuff like that, and magic having developed over time so it, it has definitely been around for a while but not to the point where i'd say it's ancient you know like i it it has it was discovered past the sort of trade era you know like carts are starting to go around jewelry is a thing um metal work is common uh, and stuff like that, like forges, billow and stuff. Um, cause, cause the first guy who discovered mana, I forgot his name. Um, but he, he did like an experiment to like figure out that mana actually exists, which I'll eventually have to cover as well. Um, so that'll be like a bit of a history lesson in the world, I guess. Oops, I'm accidentally drawing that on the wrong layer again. Um, are the... Are there lightning mages? Uh, also, are there any kinds of metals that would be resistant to magic. Um, lightning mages, I mean, if if you want to see, like, a cool idea of a lightning mage, you can look at uh, Shabi and Sedeka's world-building uh, forum on, on the Discord. Uh, Shabi and Sedeka have been fucking killing it with designs, and they did, like, a idea of a lightning mage that's basically, like, a giant lightning rod uh, where they, like, conjure the lightning from the skies and, like, uh, route them through their bodies and cast them out in the form of spells, which is fucking awesome. Um, so if if there were lightning mages, they'd probably be something like that. I'm not sure if I want that yet, uh, but I feel like it's it's pretty likely that I'd want that. Uh, metals that repel magic? Yeah, there are metals that repel magic. I was thinking they'd be lead uh, glass as well, but I'm not sure if repelling magic means that they're just stubborn when it comes to taking in magic so they don't hold any magic but you can still affect them by magic for example with terraforming or if it's the case where it's like you can't even affect them with terraforming you know i think it still means that you can affect it with terraforming but it's just uh hmm. that wouldn't work would it so you'd have to have it be resistant against magic in that way yeah lead Lead is resistant against magic, you know? But the thing is, that wouldn't help you against, like, most magics. Because most magics don't do, uh, if we go by game terms, I said this in the last stream too, magic damage. It doesn't do magic damage. Acceleration mages are just shooting you with something. The thing that, they accelerated the projectile with magic, but the projectile itself isn't magic. So you'd just be getting hit by a really fast bullet. So the lead ain't gonna help you at all, you know? Combustion mages as well. They're just making a giant explosion, which isn't going to help, like, magic resistance isn't going to help you at all. 
Um, so, like, the only things that would help you against would be something like terraforming, uh, because uh, it's actually nothing like projectiling towards you. It is mana uh, with imbued with intent going towards you, trying to impose um, terraforming on you, which would get resisted. You know? But then it's like, well, if there's any gaps in the metal... Because I feel like it would still... It would be more like wind tunnel kind of resistance. Like, I don't think it'd be like it would hit the metal and then bounce back. I feel like it would be more like a wind tunnel kind of situation where it's like it would be routed towards the sides instead of hitting the metal itself, right? Which means if you have any gaps in the armor... It would definitely flow into those. So if you had like a traditional uniform, uh, like like proper set of like medieval armor made out of lead, then your armpits would just disappear. <laughs> your armpits and and probably your crotch area and the inside of your of your elbows, like the nooks of your arms, will just all be terraformed. And probably, oh no, because you have eye holes in the helmet too, so you just get, like, cheese grated through every gap of the, uh, of the armor. So it ain't gonna help you that much, probably. Um, lead shield it is. Yeah, I'd say lead, then. Let's just make that official, because I think that's gonna cause some, like, interesting interactions if we make lead... Uh, resistant to magic, you know? It would still not make it, like, cheating, because most magics don't do magic damage, uh, or, or aren't just magic floating through the air. Horny statement. Okay, I'm not reading it. Uh, question. Does gravity magic exist? No, no. Um, I, I think of magic as people having grasped the concept of that idea thoroughly, and I don't think they would understand gravity enough yet to, to, like, be able to do gravity magic. Tell me something cool about your setting, thanks. Uh, thank you for the two dollars, Goose. Something cool about my setting. Um... I'm completely drawing a blank at the moment. <laughs> there is cool stuff. Trust me, there is cool stuff. Um, something cool. Uh, Ram, the city of Ram, believes in centrism, uh, and the way they pursue their goal of getting to the center of the earth is with these giant drills uh, that dig down to the center of the earth. Uh, to the earth. Um, the, the people piloting the drill and the drill itself is called a saint. So when people refer to the saints, the drill and the person is pretty much the same thing. Uh, and to get resources back and from the drills, they have these pilgrimages that go down to the drills to like refuel them and also take earth and dirt and stuff like that out of there. Uh, and also, platoons of soldiers sometimes take pilgrimages down there uh, to baptize themselves with the dirt. Uh, there you go. That's something cool. Uh, Freak Pandora, thank you for the 10 R. Appreciate it. Uh, finally, I was able to catch you live. Uh, I love your world building project. Wish you, wish you all the best, and I hope um, you have fun building more of your setting. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Bonky McNoggins, thank you for the $5. Sadly, I must depart. Oh, no. Have some cheese as a farewell. Take care, Bonky McNoggins. Take care, silent patron. You once again graced us. You have once again graced us with your presence, but now you must part way, disappearing into the fog of war into the distance with the bells jingling and chiming as you go. I'm imagining that he, like the silent patron would, well, that sort of doesn't fit, does it? Name is the silent patron and he has fucking bells. Oh, I don't know. Uh, deranged statement. Let's eat more dwarves. No. <laughs> Question. How big is the bullet? Uh, this bullet 
would be, I was thinking like an inch across, um, maybe smaller. So perhaps like two centimeters across up to an inch across. A, a real chonker, real big one. Griffey, uh, question. Will there be magic that can change something's size or mass temporarily? No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, I we're going with the um with the Full Metal Alchemist style of magic where it's like equal exchange, so you can't like increase the mass of mass of something uh, just out of nothing, uh, and you can't like decrease it, just make things disappear either. Uh, question, what are some common meals in your world? Uh, does your diet uh, affect metamorphosis? What do the salt... Oh, that's gone. Okay. Uh, question, are there any other unique mages in your world, like the rat catcher? Yes, yes. Uh, I feel like it'd be a lot of fun to have like unique characters uh, when it comes to mages. I should have probably done that with this image as well. I sort of thought of this as just like a generic, um, uh, a generic uh, acceleration mage. I should have probably like thought of some backstory for him and like gave him a cooler design. Maybe, maybe this is like the the sort of sniper classic sniper story that you hear about in wars, where it's like this guy's gotten. 2,000 billion kills and he didn't even have a scope on his gun or something like that. Well, he clearly has one uh, scope, I mean. But, you know, something like that. Uh, could I decrease the mass of something and take that mass to make other things grow? Uh, no, no. It doesn't, like, it, it's not fucking, like, you... you 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 can't like disappear some dirt and make your head grow or something like that you know like there i i'm not sure how far i want to push like the alchemy angle of it uh when it comes to like changing things things as uh material like could you change uh gold to silver or something like that does that like i don't think they would be able to do that yet Uh, question. Will Torvik take me? No. No, Torvik will not take you. Torvik is not interested in said things. If you're not made out of bread, Torvik will not take you. I should not have said that, because that's going to make people go, Well, well, I'm made out of bread. So, no, don't do that. Never mind. I retract that statement. He doesn't care about anything besides bread. But not in that way, either. No, not in that way, either. He, he loves baking bread. Not any, uh, any, yeah, not that other stuff. I'll cover myself in bread. No, no, <laughs> that doesn't work. He just wants to bake bread in an oven. Still don't know who Torvik is. Uh, Torvik is the dwarf uh, that we have the, uh, the figure for. The dwarf that we're making a figure for. You know the video I just did? Uh, like the before- most recent video about the dwarf. That's Torvik. Um, we thought of him as a uh, as a forge master, and and he is also a bread smith. So in his in his spare time, he secretly loves baking bread. That's his passion. But sadly, because of his name and the uh, the honor that comes with that name, Torvik, he is forced to work in the forges. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that the the hand off stream uh, to like work out the gruesome texture of it more. Uh, I I can't work with the references being on a different layer, so I'll just do that off stream instead.
Uh, question, Monster uh, Garden. Would give off a strong fear and hunger vibes. Have you ever played, watched videos about it? Yes, yes I have um, watched videos about people uh, playing it. Uh, I haven't played it myself. I don't dare to. I'm bad at losing. Uh, bad at bad bad at hard games as well. I'm shit at PvP and shit at hard games. Uh, so yeah, I I would not dare to play that. But I really like Fear and Hunger's aesthetic and stuff like that. It's amazing. Um, could fumigation mages have the same effect as something like amphetamine uh, abuse? I don't know what that causes, but maybe. Um, amphetamine abuse? Is that like the, the black lungs? Is that amphetamine abuse or what what does that cause? Uh question. So uh could have lead shackles for mages prisoners to stop their abilities. Uh actually hmm. Depending on the type of mage Let me think about it. I mean, if if they're purely like a terraforming mage, then yeah, yeah, you could do the fucking um the the frozen Elsa style um uh, uh what I I completely forgot the word now what uh. Handcuffs, yeah, handcuffs, like those kinds of handcuffs. You could totally do that for a for a terraforming mage, acceleration mage as well, actually. Mm. What does the stranger taste like? Don't 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 even start. <laughs> don't even start. Um, do you have chat help you uh help in your workflow? I mean, yeah, of course. Uh, when it comes to like brainstorming ideas, they they give like really you guys give like really helpful suggestions and stuff like that, and I really enjoy like brainstorming with people. Uh, just last stream, we had like a wonderful time brainstorming basically like the whole pantheon uh, of gods, like this. We did this last stream, uh, and it, it it went beautifully. You know, or was it before last stream? I don't know if it was last stream or before last stream. Memory. Um, but yeah, I do this with chat, so so you guys help fully with this, and and it turns out wonderfully. Question: What does it feel like for a mage to cast a spell? Ah, oh, that's hard. That's a hard question. Um, I I'd have to think about that more. I like how to describe that properly to like uh, embody the feeling of how it actually is cuz i sort of feel it being like a a a moment of incredible focus you know like singular focus on one objective um basically like a like meditation like you're fucking like going zen mode pretty much Mm. Low state, yeah. Um, we do not talk about the... Uh, oh my god, how many questions? Question, Simon, I'm currently writing a story set in the world. Uh, I need the name of a really powerful crossbow that shoots several bolts designed to disable massive beasts. Um, the name of a crossbow... That shoots multiple arrows to disable a beast. Uh, the Crippler? <laughs> yeah, that's a cool name. Uh, I was gonna say something like Porcupine. You know, something like Porcupine or... or uh, I don't know. Pitchfork? <laughs> that's sort of a weird... Having a crossbow named Pitchfork, but I'm sort of picturing, you know, like, multiple arrows going out. Yeah, Hedgehog would also be a cool one. 
the dongle. Bob. Yeah, people throw in names for it um, in the chat so, so we can help them. Uh, a name for a crossbow that shoots multiple bolts at once to take down large beasts. The Scrungler. The Frongler. Abracadabra. Bangle. Grimdin. Rongler. The Hamstringer. Frongler. Okay, okay, that's enough Fronglers. Skull Splitter. The Poker. The Bussy. Bonky. The Pin Maker. Okay, I, I disagree with a lot of these names, but fair enough. Uh, Goose, thank you for the $2. Uh, the Trident. Ooh, that's good. Uh, also, are there any pre precursor races? No, I haven't thought of any, if there are. Haven't thought of any. Um, blueberry... <laughs> okay, the shot bow. Beast's Bane. That's good. Beast Bane is good. Goose is a good name. They're ferocious. True, true. Welcome back, Bonk. The Hydra? Oh, Hydra's good. Hydra's good, though. Hydra's good. Answer. Uh, I'm going to use Pitchfork. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, mish it together to make it Pitchbow. Okay, okay, Pitchbow. Fair enough, fair enough. No, no. I'm not saying Pitchfork would be better than Pitchbow, but... Fair enough. Go ahead. Do your thing. <laughs> but yeah, Pitchbow is good. Pitchbow is good. Um, thank you for the $2. Uh, flip fingers. Uh, or, uh, two euros. Uh, would ACC... Would ACC mages switch arms to even out impact? Uh, oh, acceleration mages. Uh, I mean, normally they'd focus on one arm, as that would just make them better at the the spell they're casting but i wouldn't doubt that some mages would uh prefer to like use both arms as if one becomes unusable it'd be better to have a backup because like if this guy for example lost his right arm he would be set back quite a lot um because he's just using his his right arm and and not his left at all so it's been un so he'd have to like relearn it but I wouldn't say it you, it would take as long as it was as as like first learning acceleration magic. So it's not like you're relearning the magic. It's just like you're switching hands. So pretty much like I I I I'd say it would use as much time as like figuring out how to draw or or like how to write with your opposite hand. Maybe a little shorter than that even. But yeah, probably probably similar to to how hard that is. Hmm, yes. Oh, five pounds. Thank you very much. Hmm, yes. Uh, hey, I wanted to ask if you did anything with the uh, cadaver harvester idea. Just wondered if you used it. Uh, it's fine if you don't use it. I, I'm i not going to use it anytime soon, if I will. Um, I'm not sure if it fits yet or not. Uh, I might change a lot of things about it uh, to make it fit if I wanted to. Um, but no, I haven't done anything with it yet. I did say I wasn't going to use it anytime soon because I'm not doing creatures at the moment. Uh, I'm focusing on, like, the mages and stuff like that. You missed the donation? Oh, whoops. Hold on, hold on. Ah. No, flip finger. I, I did get that one. Goose the trident also are there. No, I didn't miss one. I don't think I missed one. Oh, 
Oh, oh, yes, I did miss one. Uh, Al Alina Spiro, thank you very much uh, for the $2. Are there any love stories in the world? Oh, goodness. Love stories. I mean, in any sort of world, it'd be expected that love is a thing and happens. I don't know if I myself would focus on the love stories. Um, not really my my forte, I'd say. I'm not. I'm, I don't think I'd be good at writing love stories. Um, and also that it would like fit much with the tone of the world. I mean, yes, it would be a thing, but I wouldn't really uh, find it much of relevance to to write about it. Uh, Torvik exp no no no, uh, hold on. Did I miss another no, uh, donation? Fenials project. Wish you all the no no. Okay, that's all of them. Okay, good good good. Uh, what about necromancy? No. Necromancy has not been figured out yet. Uh, if it is even possible, I I don't think people have. Or, well, I, I know people have not figured it out yet. That's a strange visual illusion. It's that thing. Uh, this gray right here, like on the stock here, that's the same tone as this in the front here. But this in the front looks brighter. Huh. Nice. I accidentally made a visual illusion. <laughs> Prove it. Well, I just did. I, I look. I'm, I'm eye dropping the color here, and then drawing it over here. See, and it's the same. Color relativity is a fun thing. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, could several acceleration mages uh, converge their strength to operate a sort of artillery? Yes, yes, they could. Uh, which brush or brushes do you use for Krita? Uh, the brush doesn't matter. It's just one of the base brushes that I adjusted a little bit to fit the style of how I like draw and how much weight I put into the brush. But other than that, it's pretty much the same as a base brush. Um, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm sort of just like scribbling away randomly. I'm not. I should be focusing on like trying to get the next thing done. Um. I like the silhouette at this point, though. Like, the silhouette is really nice and uh, readable, I think. I should... Uh, the shoes are still not that readable, though, so... go. 
that's a little better. What am I still missing of the color? Uh, I feel like definitely what I'm missing is also like the, the fog and smoke and stuff like that, the dust. Um, currently the image is dust free, so no like fog or anything. Um, so I'll definitely have to like add in fog after this. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering what kind of music I'm listening to, just in case you're wondering, um, I'm listening to Apache at the moment. Are there any are there any agencies that police magic? I doubt. I mean, you're pretty much owned by uh the the church if you use magic uh unless you're like really rich and and paid your way into learning magic. So, other than that, no. Uh, girl mages, do they exist? No. Uh, in front of the magic school, there's just a big sign scribbled on some cardboard that says, No girls allowed! And then, like, a skull and crossbone underneath that. Um, and they just have that on the front door of the magic academy. So, sorry, no girls. No, why? Well, because it said so on the sign. That's that's what it said. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, but the sign says it is. What are the red geometric shapes? Oh, those are red roots. Uh, they're a type of root or a type of magic root that's used to reinforce trenches. Um, I'll talk about it eventually. <laughs> a lot of things are getting moved. <laughs> Fucking lung cancer. <clears throat> a lot, sorry. Uh, a lot of things are getting moved into me just saying it'll be in a video, uh, which it will be, but it's just gonna, might take a while. Let me try and add, like, the fog to see how much that can help. I'm going to really try to, like, get this sort of feel going with the fog. I don't know how I'm supposed to approach the fog, because I'm... I guess I could just lower opacity.
Oh, uh, thank you for the two euros and 45 cents. Um, cent? Cent. Yeah, cent. Uh, MC4 King, thank you. Uh, what sort of drugs would be used in this world? We're making up new drugs. Um, the ones we currently have is tar, blood honey, and grot. Outside of that, we don't have any others yet. Um, straw man, thank you for the six euros. Uh, love the concept of this. Uh, is this, uh, is it a mage or a person, uh, enhanced with magic? Well, that's what a mage is. Uh, and what enhancement is it? Uh... Fine fella, ben uh, benefiting from the aid uh, to aid his shooting. No, uh, he is a mage. He is a mage, and he's cast a, a an acceleration mage that casts acceleration magic. Yeah, I feel like the fog would like collect a lot at the bottom of the trench. What if I make it? I think it works. I think the fog works. Hmm. I'm not sure, though. I definitely need to, like, practice more by, like, studying their drawings. I haven't really done that properly yet. Oh, uh, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, Alina, Alina, Alena, Alina, Alena, uh, Spiro, appreciate it. Uh, I think I speak for all of us when I say your world is fascinating. Your art is beautiful, and we look forward to seeing everything you create. Thank you. I really appreciate that, genuinely. Um, thank you. Yeah, uh, I look forward to what I'm gonna create too, because, uh, I have no idea how this is gonna go. Uh, hopefully it's going to go well, obviously. I hope. Yeah, I think the fog sort of helps. Like, without fog... Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. The fog definitely helped. Look at that. Yeah, I'd still have to, like, play around with it and, like, fine-tune it a lot, though. Still don't think it's it's quite right yet. Especially, let me mess with the sky a little more. The sky is really bad.
Uh, thank you for the two uh, euros, Cole Roke. Um, I'll be going soon. Uh, Ratman, appreciate the work. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, take care, man. I uh, hope you have a good rest of the day. And luck with whatever you're going to do next. Good luck with whatever you're going to do next. Fog of War, yes. Yeah, I did say that areas with a lot of mana would have an orange hue in the sky. Wonder why the sky in the war zone has a lot of orange in it. Mm -mm. Very strange. Finally caught alive. Hello, Lux. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Welcome to your first stream. Uh, we're currently working on a acceleration mage. If you're wondering. There you go. That's the sky a little more. Um, hey man, uh, I need to ask you to everyone in the world, like, uh, what, what, ask you to everyone in your world, like, major, I mean, or there are no people who this proof of them. Uh, hold on. Let me try and close my eyes and open them again. Maybe it'll make sense. Uh, hey man, I need to ask you... To everyone in your world, like majors, I mean, or they're not people who this proof of them. Okay, um, could you try and maybe, like, write that question again? I really want to answer it, but I just don't know what you're, what you're trying to say. Uh, have you ever been in museum in Sanok? The one with... The Baczynski's paintings, they look amazing in person. No, I, I've never been to, like, museums like that. Um, I, I want to. It sounds nice. Oh, uh, Mr. <laughs> A hair flew in my mouth. Um, M. Uh, Hammam. I, I hope I said that correctly. Uh, thank you for the uh, 10,000 IDR. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what's your favorite creation so far? Oh, that's hard to say. Uh, I, I don't like many of my drawings. So that is, that is quite hard to say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. I'll just have to layer and layer on weathering on the image. But I think we've done quite a bit of stuff this stream. Uh, I think I'm probably going to uh, end it soon. 
because it's it's getting to three hours and it's uh, currently one a.m. in the morning. And I'll just play around with this like off stream as well because I really want to try and get this image to like look good and like get the atmosphere really right, which I don't think I have yet. The atmosphere is not right yet. Um, still need some fiddling of values and stuff like that. Wall brother. Hey, Seth. Uh, hey, trying not to spam this question, but are humans the only creatures that can use magic? No, uh, there's other animals that use magic as well. There's lots of animals that use magic. Uh, can you suck energy out of things with magic, uh, as in freezing stuff? Uh, yeah, you could freeze stuff, though I don't really want to use uh, ice magic or cold magic because I just don't feel like it fits the aesthetic much. Um, just doesn't feel what, I, or, or it doesn't fit what I picture when I think of the world. How many questions have gone unanswered? Well, hey, come on. Uh, let, let's let's change that to say how many questions have I answered? See, I think I've answered a lot of questions. I've, I've been doing a good job, pretty good job. I mean, yeah, of course I'm gonna miss a lot of them because I'm drawing at the same time and there's just that many of them, but I think I'm doing decent. Uh, it could fit possibly on uh, something like an alpine part of the setting. Well, yeah, but everywhere being ice cold can... Yeah, maybe, maybe. But I just... In, in the war zone, I don't really picture it fitting that much. Uh... You've answered 15, I've been keeping count. Jesus Christ, how much of a grudge do you have against me to fucking be bothered by... I've been keeping count how many answers you fucking missed and how many you have answered, you bastard. <laughs> Only 15. Goodness. In keeping count? <laughs> that concerns me. Why do you keep count of how many I've answered? What what drove you to keep count? I don't understand. Have you been that upset about it? Then you've been keeping count, or what do you mean? Why are you counting? I don't understand. You've no no. It's just I I I know Heckler, but but like I'm just curious. Like who is in a chat and is like, God damn it, this bastard. One. Yeah, keep going. Keep missing those questions. Okay, okay, you answered that one. Two. <laughs> what are Because you... I have nothing better to do. Fair, fair. Professional viewer, yeah. I appreciate you for keeping count, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, those are the kinds of statistics we need in this chat. Uh, so I know exactly how many questions I've missed and how many I have answered. So that's the important numbers we need. Uh, Simon, why isn't uh, there a channel in the Discord server uh, summarizing all the art and concept ideas that, uh, in your opinion, fix them on... Uh, fit the Monster Garden universe, uh, the ones you draw on stream and show in the videos. Well, because they eventually will get put into... Oh, uh, also the ones in the videos. I guess, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I probably should do that, but I don't know how I would neatly, like, organize that instead of just, you know, you just have to scroll through a long chat with everything sort of piled together 
unless I like separate it, but then like how do I categorize it? It it would be a mess either way. So I think just having it be in the videos would be fine enough. Uh I put them on DeviantArt as well. Um I've put them on DeviantArt, like a lot of the drawings, but I've actually not <laughs> after uh posting like the large first pile of drawings, I I haven't actually spent time to like update that or, or put more of the more recent ones there. So, whoops. Um, who's the strongest character in your world? I mean, I don't think I think about the world like that. I'm not thinking about it like Dragon Ball Z style, uh, trying to, you know, uh, trying to, oh. Spammer? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. Hold on. Uh, give me just a second, I'll, I'll deal with that. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I just need some time to get into the chat. Give me a second. Because I'm not actually, like, watching my own stream on the computer. Okay. There you go. Is that gone? Did that fix it? You missed a donation. Yeah, yeah, I did miss two donations. Um or yeah, I don't I don't think about like the strongest character like like Dragon Ball Z, so I don't I don't know who's the strongest. Um Mia, uh thank you for the twenty dollars. Uh found your work just a few days ago and I'm so hooked. Uh, your take on magic is super refreshing, and I'm inspired by the level of care you put into the pres uh, process uh, from one art stranger to another. Keep it up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, I do pride myself in the amount of care I put into the world, so thank you. Uh... They are facing other humans. Yeah, there's two countries at war. Hmm. I know what I'm... Yeah, I think I'm I'm fine with it for today. I'm gonna have to... I, I feel like what is... It, it's, it's like the progress is slowing down because I've been staring at this thing for so long. So it's all sort of like blending together and I'm not finding anything to like add to it um which means like I, I i feel like i need to step away from it then come back to it tomorrow perhaps to like get a fresh look uh but i feel like for now uh the progress on it i mean it's been a little slow because i've been like chicken scratching it i could have definitely finished a lot more in this time period if i actually like didn't focus any uh, attention on the chat and just like burned through the drawing uh, but I just took my time and had fun talking to you guys, so that's fair enough. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm pretty happy with the progress. The colors really helped uh, make the drawing come together more. Like, there you go. That's without color. And then this is what we did. But yeah. I think I do... I'm, I'm the most happy about this guy and, like, his back. Like, the color on the back and him in general, just make him, like, really stand out, but also look, like, really grim and, and m mushy. <laughs> he just looks like a pile of mush, uh, which is great. I'm gonna have to think of hairstyles this way, by the way, now that I think about it, because I drew his hair, it's like, yeah, what do, what what's the hairstyle of people in this world, like, um, especially like soldiers and stuff. How would they need to cut their hair? Hmm. He looks very unalive. Yeah, that's good then. Bowl cut. Today no foot? No foot today. 
Are mages the only ones with guns? Huh? Well, no, of course not. Why would mages be the only ones with guns? How does that make sense? Uh, well, I, I did a poor... This guy's supposed to have a gun, but I never drew it, so he's just holding nothing. He's supposed to be resting against a gun. Yeah, lots of people have guns. Everybody who goes into the war has a gun. Um, it, it, it's just that this is a, a, an acceleration mage gun that's like uses, uses magic to accelerate the bullet. Like You can see the thimble on his thumb that he has resting against the back of the barrel um, to accelerate the bullet. Give the mage a bull cut. I'll think about it. I think, like, having uh, goofy medieval haircuts might be interesting. Um, big fan of spells, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a big fan of spells as well. Uh, does he look like a Beatles member? <laughs> what the fuck? Is it the hair? It's the hair, isn't it? I'll, I'll have to think about the hair and not just give him a generic cut. I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, hi, from Jacksonton. What's Jacksonton? Where's Jacksonton? Tn. I don't know where that is, but hello from there. It's Joe Ramon. I don't know who that is. Uh, we need to. We need at least one guy to have a sick. Uh, tons, tonsure. <sighs> Tennessee, my apology. Oh, Tennessee. Yeah, I don't I don't know the states of, of America. Uh I mean I, I, I know that it is a state, I just don't know. That doesn't give me any idea because like I've never been. I've only been to um Wisconsin. Uh Cumberland in Wisconsin. Shout out to Cumberland. <laughs> um I, I went to Cumberland for like an exchange program once. That was nice. Um, was like with a host family and stuff. Uh, I was with two host families actually because the first one was only available for half the time I stayed, which I stayed for a month. So they were available for like two weeks and then I was uh, there with the second one for the rest of the time. First family was fucking awesome. Uh, you live in Cumberland? Are you kidding me? We don't have, we, we literally have a Cumberland residence here. Um, it was a Thai exchange program at the school of in Cumberland. Um, I had to do like a like a dance thing and a bunch of presentations in a lot of the classes. Um, uh, think about what nationality he'd best represent in real life, then check out some of his. Uh, pictures for soldiers from that country, and y'all find some cool ideas for hairstyles. Really good idea, Tail Foundry. Thank you for that. I'm definitely gonna do that. Yeah, that is that. That's probably the best way to do it. Actually, it's just search up um, haircuts from that specific uh, military's uh, uh, catalog or whatever. <laughs> he got that Zuko cut right now. Uh, search for, search for Bayek's ta tapestry for a haircut, or just uh, simply search for young Bjorn haircut from Vikings. Mm. But yeah, what was I going to say? Right, right. I, I, I went to Cumberland uh, and had two host families. First one was awesome. They, it was like... They, they had, like, a really warm and cozy house. I, w I don't want to call it a messy house because there was a lot of stuff in it, like, a lot of stuff sitting around on tables and stuff like that, but it was an organized mess, if that made sense. There was a lot of stuff, but it felt like all of it was in the right places. Uh, but it was really cozy and nice. Um, and they were really cool because their brother um, played D&D, so I, that was the first time I got a chance to play D&D because um, when I walked into the house, the first thing I noticed was there was like a cupboard they had with like little figures in it. And I saw like a little dragon figure and I was like, oh, what is that for? Like D&D? &D? And then he was like, what? D&D? &D? You play D&D? &D? And I'm like, no, I don't, but I love D&D. &D. I'd love to play it. Uh, and and so like they, they set up something for me like in the second week when he was free and we actually played D and D at a table and it was fucking awesome. It was awesome. First time ever playing. Yeah, that was wonderful.
um, I played like a really old wizard, and I tripped on marbles two times, <laughs> or no, three times. Uh, I threw out like ball bearings on the floor and accidentally tripped on them three times and fucking cracked my back, just oh, fucking dying. Um, but then like moving to the second family, it was like the complete opposite. It was really cold, big ass, fancy house. Um, the family was giants. Uh, but, yeah, it was a lot colder. Not, like, uh, temperature-wise, I mean, like, feeling-wise, it just didn't feel as, like, welcoming. Uh, real question, I promise. Is Torvik actually gonna, uh, be in the book? I'll have to think about it. Um, question. Why is the guy... Why is the guy shirtless and has red hand uh well it's a side effect of his metamorphosis and also he's shirtless because i was sort of thinking that his armor doesn't fit anymore as he's like grown out of it so he's just taken it off and is chilling with just pants on i mean you can also see by the way he's sitting like he's sitting with his legs sort of spread outside um which is kind of goofy but i think it fits because it shows like how much larger he is and doesn't fit in his space or doesn't fit in the space um, by the way, uh, the drawing's done, uh, or, or not done, I mean just, I'm done drawing for the stream, I'm just gonna be chilling and talking to you guys a little more, uh, before ending it. Um, Cumberland here, uh, do you remember the family's name, perhaps? I mean, I, 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 I don't wanna, like, call out the, the families that I stayed with, uh, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be right, I don't think, uh, So yeah, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you that. A call out post for that one family. <laughs> I didn't feel welcomed. No, it was fine. Obviously, like it, it wasn't like I'm in I was in fucking prison or anything like I don't want to make it sound dreadful It's just that compared to the first uh, family. I stayed with it felt a lot less, you know um, Warm, uh, but still it was a nice uh, Nice time staying there uh, Question does the, the oh also, the worst part of it definitely was the Thai traditional dance and also the, uh, uh, also the, uh, the presentations. I did, like, we, we had to do so many of those, man. I, I, I bet I did that pre presentation more than 20 times, or probably, like, almost 20 times or more than 20 times throughout my time of staying there, the same fucking presentation about Thai food over and over again, 20 times, sometimes like seven times in a day or five times in a day. It was, uh, the, luckily the Thai traditional dance, we only had to do three times. Um, once in the, once in the basketball court of the school, like the basketball hall, it's torturous obviously, cause I'm not a dancer. I don't feel comfortable in a Thai dancing outfit, uh, but but it was something we had to do. I didn't know that was a part of it, by the way, when I signed up to it. It was just, you know, it was in a cultural exchange program. It sucked. You know why? When when you signed up to the program, I when you signed up to the program, it was like, you also have to have one special skill. And... And, and... You know, a Thai style skill, like something associated with Thai uh, as a skill. So I was like, oh, awesome. I'm an artist, right? So I can draw Thai patterns and stuff like that. So that's what I did. When I went to the interview, I, I drew like a bunch of uh, pages of like nice uh, Thai drawings, like the giant eating the moon and also like a Krut, which is like a bird person, a Thai like bird creature. And I showed them and they were like, oh, awesome. So that's why, like, I, I, I feel like that that's something that helped me pass as well. Um, but what sucks is that made me think, oh, that's going to be the thing I show off, 
you know, like tie drawings. I'm going to show uh, the people at Cumberland tie drawings. But they, they, they still forced everybody to dance. They still forced everybody to dance. There was a camp before we went to uh, America, which we had to go to, and the camp forced us to dance, right? And that's the performance and the presentation was there as well. Um, so we, we had to make the presentation and practice the dance to go to uh, America to do the dance, which was just humiliating. I, I did not want to do a dance. I wasn't told I was going to have to do a dance. It was... Uh, uh, but yeah. Just Google tie dance outfit. I mean, the only thing I guess was neat with it was the pants, because we had to wear like the traditional tie pants that's just a piece of cloth like wrapped around you and then tucked under your legs and into your ass crack, um, which was neat. Because the problem is like, uh, because the pant, like the way you fold it means that there's a seam that goes quite far up the back of your thigh, uh, which means you couldn't really wear pants when wearing the tie style pants, which means you are hoping to God and, and every holy figure that's up there dictating the fates that this piece of cloth that you've tied around your waist holds on <laughs> with a little pin. Um, no, not a pin. You just sort of tuck it in. And there's nothing like holding it. The, the, the only thing holding it is the tension of the fucking cloth. Um, and you hope to God that it holds together because under there you're just wearing underwear. Um, and, and that's it. <laughs> and, and if something happens, you know, it'll just, it'll just all come loose. Uh, and you definitely don't want that happening in front of the whole school. Can we please see some images, Simon? Fuck no, you will not get to see images. Um, my boy had to squeeze. Yeah, I clenched my ass cheeks to hold on to the fabric. <laughs> like, like a fucking... I felt... It, you, you feel it loosening like it's running up your crack. You feel it slipping and you just have to clench. No, no, that's not how it is, but that would be funny. <laughs> like, no, hold on. <laughs> Uh, you sound like you're talking from experience. Well, because well, I had to wear that. What do you mean? I had to wear it. Or you mean like the, the part about it, like dropping off in front of everybody? No, that didn't happen, luckily. Um, no, no mishaps happened. Uh, the whole performances went smoothly and stuff like that. I just didn't feel comfortable in the thing they had me wear. Uh, because it was like this like ornate gold jewelry and the helmet and stuff like that. Um, not obviously not real gold. It was uh, props, uh, but uh, normally <laughs> under that you would be, you know, you wouldn't have a shirt on. Uh, but luckily they did spare us and had us wear like a really tight, um, sort of stretchy shirt, which I mean, still wasn't fun. <laughs> that still wasn't fun to wear, uh, but it was better than not having one. So. Salute for the dance. Uh. Yeah. And the drawings never came into play, by the way. The the me being able to draw like tie patterns and stuff like that never never actually mattered. That had to be humiliating as fuck. I mean uh, looking back at it, obviously, me being a kid, um, it means very little on the grand scheme of things. You know, like, as, as a kid, you just think that everything matters way too much, and your appearance and uh, you, how other people perceive you and stuff like that. Now that I look back at it, obviously, that didn't matter at all. Like, nobody cares. Um, but at the time, it was awful. <laughs> Obviously, it was very humiliating at the time. Now it's just, meh. Nah, it was a thing that happened. Whatever. I had to do the exact same thing, but with uh, Indonesian dance. Uh, we were uh, shirtless and had only some leaves for pants. Oh, God. That's even worse. 
goodness. Well, uh, I, 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 I respect you, but I'm sorry to hear that. That is, that must be terrible. Okay, a question. Do the, uh, nicotine and cigarettes, uh, inhibit the growth of the cigar smoke turtle? There's a way it can... What? A cigar turtle? A smoking turtle? Cigar smoking turtle? What? <laughs> so I'm not alone, yeah. Uh, I apologize for hecking you about your answer uh, question. Anyway, have my question. Does uh, Jakob uh, look like a bird because of the curse? Or do bird people just exist? No, it's the curse. It's it's the curse. And there's not multiple... Like, it's not a common curse where everybody just has a bird head. That's just... Every curse is unique. And that just happens to be his. Forcing kids to do exotic dance. No, well, don't call it exotic dance. That makes it sound worse. It's traditional dance. So it's just a traditional Thai dance. It, there was nothing exotic about it. Yeah, obviously the the best part of the culture exchange, or or where the kids learned the most uh, about the culture exchange, was immediately after the dance when we started to go into actual classes to learn with them. And the first thing we started sharing about our culture, obviously, was the swear words, right? Because that's what everybody does. As soon as you get the chance to learn something from a different language, you don't hesitate to learn the swear words. That's the first thing. So yeah, that's probably what they learned the most about, was Thai swear words. Is dabbing exotic? Perhaps. Tell us the forbidden words. No, no, I'm not gonna tell you Thai swear words. I went to an exchange in Spain, and the first thing we learned was also swear words. Yeah, that's obvious. Like, that's that's how you bond between cultures. First thing is like, hey, tell me your swear words. Great. Uh, uh, best part of learning a another language is the swearing. True, true. But yeah, I, I think that's going to be enough for the stream, though. Um, are there any kinds of magics that are considered taboo uh, by the church? No, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's going to be enough for the stream. Uh, I've, I've had a really fun time, all right? And I hope you enjoyed the drawing as I was actually surprisingly productive, uh, even though I felt like I could have done more, but I'm happy with the process, I've uh, with the progress I made. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thank you, all of you, for your support, and appreciate you sticking around and talking and asking all those wonderful questions. Sorry if I missed some. Uh, obviously, that's bound to happen, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you in the next stream and or next video. Take care. Take care, everybody.